you know, cities, empires, etc. So we're not going to try to like bog you down in little stuff, especially like, you know, as you see, we spent this whole time working on this legendary 1024 star galaxy. Like, I don't want to get you bogged down in side quests. And I know games like Star, Tri Star Drive 2, like, they're getting into these side quests and stuff like that. And I was saying earlier, like, this game is kind of like our response. Yeah, sorry, Billion. Uh, calling us, yeah. Um, like, we were talking earlier about kind of how a lot of these games have, like, lost focus of um, what makes Mutu good and how I don't play a lot of standard 4X space games. Um, and this is kind of like, these are the reasons why. Like, I think when I play a 4X game, I want to think about the big picture stuff. I want to command the massive fleets. I want to have the billions of people, you know, following me. And I want to have huge research projects. I want to have alliances with massive empires and go to war with massive empires. And I don't want to be, to me, I see like little things like, oh, run this mission for me. Like those things are distractions from what I really want to do. And so Master of Ryan 2 and, and there are some other games like it, like they really just focus on the big picture stuff. So that's where we're wanting to, to focus everyone into is the grand scale of things. Um, you know, potentially down the road, if we looked at other games, you know, maybe... I've kind of toyed in my mind before about thinking about down the road, looking at making other types of games within this universe that we've created. Um, but definitely Lord of Rigel itself will always be kind of a uh, 4X grand scale space strategy game. Um, in terms of competing with Eve, Eve is an MMO, as I understand it. Um, yeah. And as well, like, it's a more single-player oriented project. Not single-player, but, like, FPS oriented project. Um, there's no FPS element to this. This is all you trying to control uh, units in a turn-based scenario. So, again, smallest unit is things like ships. And, yeah, Ace has answered uh, Mercurial Mike's question. Um and, and the great thing, too, is, like, we're really trying to work on, in this game, like, making spies not suck. Um, because so many games have spies, like, and even, like, Master of Ryan 2, they had spies, but they were just kind of like, oh, oh, yeah, absolutely, Mike. And, and it's not even just for getting comebacks. I mean, it's, too, just to, like, shape policy, because... One of the things we're looking at doing is like, okay, let's say you have a neighbor and they have a very aggressive leader and you're in a bad position with them. You can use your spies to assassinate that leader. Now, of course, you're taking a chance that the next leader isn't even more aggressive, but you're also potentially looking at an, an even like calmer leader, one that you can work with. So we want to have spies actually have more practical outcomes to them. And as Ace is pointing out too, like, you know, you can steal tech with them. You can cause rebellions. Um, so, you know, we want to have spies be like a really like an active category in the game. Because in Master of Ryan 2, it was pretty much steal spy, or it was tech espionage, or prevent yourself from having tech stolen from Like, for me, that's how I always used them. Um, but in this game, I really want to focus on, on spies being a very practical thing. Are we making an LOR? Forum post or a Facebook post about what? Oh no, I'm oh. I'm just w watching stuff. I guess. Okay. Oh, by the way, I, <laughs> I I've done things. the push. Awesome. And we're getting lots of likes here. Loving it. I think. Oh, it says, I think it says, it said, the, was it the ninth that the page got started? So that's what, Tuesday? We already have 59 likes, which is great. Yeah, that's So good. keep it up, people. Yeah. Spread the word. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, duty. Totally right. He's just cruising around the web. We're all watching, slacker. <laughs> <laughs> P 
But yeah, as mentioned earlier, if you you know if you like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter, we will uh, make like lots of future updates and stuff. That's our aim. Yeah, yeah, we're really trying to get like a media thing going, and you know we're we're trying to walk a fine line between like blasting just like all this like. I was saying earlier, like one thing I really don't like about a lot of these projects um, that I follow is like they just spam out like data constantly, and it's the same old stuff. It's like, oh, you know the screenshot that I posted four weeks ago? Well, here it is again. You can come look at it. It's like <laughs> I don't want you guys to be spammed with that. I want it so that when you get information, it's new, it's useful, and it makes you uh, want to keep following the game. So. Um, We'll try to keep things fresh. Um, I know in the future we're looking at doing developer blogs um, as the guys have time. I don't want that to take away from their time to, of making the game. Um, but I, you know, maybe like once a month, uh, Tuxy and I can talk about his month and maybe how much doing Galaxy Generation sucked or something like that, and some <laughs> of the, and some of the things that he's learned. Um, and stuff like that, and just some insight. What Jason on, uh, Tables have been having problem with, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, like <laughs> all those sorts of things. Um, we'll probably do that like once a month, and we'll post that on our forum and and on our uh, Facebook page. And then I like to maybe try maybe every two weeks, just or maybe something like every two weeks to a month, have one of these sessions where we're we have more than just like the 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 developers live streaming, but like uh, myself or Ace or can, can be online streaming and answering questions and talking with you guys. Um, but I know Tuxinet and V Legends have been great. They're really making a big commitment to try to stream a lot of their development work. Um, so you will see regular updates, um, at least in terms of when they're online and when they're streaming, you can join them. Um, but in terms of a forum like this, it'll probably be like once every two weeks to a month. Just depends on how schedules work out. Um, especially since this thing has gone on longer than I thought it would, which is great. So it just means I just need to allocate more time to these, um, which is just fantastic. And I still see, we still see, Tux, we still have more people coming in. We're down to 17, now we're back to 18 again. So that's great. Um, but yeah, we'll just, um, try to keep the community updated that way and then try to post kind of, um, try to get more screenshots going, but especially, you know, like I was talking earlier, you know, Ace and I were saying, you know, we need artists because, you know, that's the thing that makes screenshots and P3D links that everyone loves to look at and see. And while we have wonderful, like I was talking artists, we don't have enough of them. So art will be slow to come out and I don't want to keep spamming you with the same images over and over and over again. Um, so I'm going to try to keep things on the site, just, you know, every, like once a week, try to put like a new ship up or something like that, that you guys can see. That's about the pace that we're moving out on ships, like a ship every one to two weeks we have. Um, assuming nothing crazy happens with, you know, computers breaking or real life stuff. Um, so we'll just keep trying to, to do that and keep you guys in the loop and, you know, ask questions. Um, you sort of questions about the game, we want to get it out there because chances are if you have a question, somebody else out there has the exact same question you have. So, I mean, and we want to make sure that everyone knows about the project um, so that, you know, I, I think if people know about the project, they're going to want to buy the game, they're, they want to play the game, they want to mod the game, and that's exactly what we want to do. So, and I know today, like, I mean, this has been great for us because we've had tons of people watching. Plus, um, potentially, you know, we have people that are interested in contributing to the project. Uh, Marlon looks like he wants to contribute to the project, which is awesome. Um, so, it's just great doing these. And yeah, heroes. Um, yeah, heroes would be great. I, I think at this point we're pretty much just gonna mimic what Master of Ryan Two did, 
you know, maybe an expansion or a second installment in the series. Maybe we could look at something, some way of expanding them out, making them like more dominant or useful. Um, oh, wow, my God. Like, that was actually kind of cool. What's up? Uh, his uh, idea. Or like his question. We haven't really done anything like that yet. Um, so essentially, the leaders in our game, like, they, what they'll do is they'll provide, like, a personality template. So they you have aggressive ones, research-based ones, peaceful ones, etc. Um, but kind of where we're at for now is that we're just trying to keep it there because some of these mechanics have been tried out before, and we do want to release the game in a reasonable time frame. I don't want to have all these awesome features that then just kind of feature, you know, you just, we just keep postponing the release for trying to get good features in. So we're at this point, we're trying something new with having these leaders in the game um, to, for each species um, to have these different profiles. And then we're adding something new with the espionage so that you can try to kill off these leaders and have that dynamic work. But that would be something really cool for like the next installment where if you do have uh, leaders that are difficult or something that we could, you know, try it, we can intervene. But the closest thing that, that it's kind of like that right now is would be culture, where you can use your culture to essentially make people in those other areas and some of the civilizations unhappy. And then essentially at that point, they may choose to incite rebellion. Then you can go in there, swoop in take the colony quickly for yourself with minimal resistance um that could be something that you could try you know and so we we'll kind of have stuff like that in the game oh yeah um by the way Chris, i just think it's worth mentioning about the galaxy rule set json table um mm -hmm. is that you need to i think i've told you before but i'll do it again you need to decrease the size of each galaxy Yes, but we'll add a modifier in there to make it work with, with it because all the other mechanics are based on parsecs. Yeah. So we'll have to add like a modifier. Mm -hmm. Like the number I found worked really great for the legendary one was like a 50 in size. Mm -hmm. So you may want to scale them back based on that or just whatever works, I guess. And as well, um, Mercurial Mike, you are not, yeah, I, I know the game's in alpha. Well, it's, yeah, not really alpha. It's like, yeah, trying to get its way to alpha. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it's, like, it's like the lowest of the alphas, like point zero 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 one version, you know? It, it says in the main um, menu. Like. But, um, but one thing um, is that we actually have, I want to say, and Ace, correct me if I'm wrong, it's like a 257 260 page or so design document. So we already have, you know, probably 98% of our, our ideas are, you know, pen to paper at this point. Um, so we already have essentially, I mean, I think of it this way. It's like a cookbook. We have the cookbook at this point. We're just cooking. We're just throwing the ingredients together and making something work. Um, so, we are, um, you know, we have had some issues. Um, oh, <laughs> copy. <laughs> yes, pre-alpha, 0 0.01. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, things are pretty much set in, I don't say, yeah, they're not, nothing's set in stone. Case in point, Adam did great mock-ups. For our system view and four revisions later, we now have the current one, which works great as well. So, I mean, essentially at this point, we have the game thought out. We know what we want to do. We're at the point where we're feature lock. We, you know, we, we've locked everything that we want to do. We're not going to, unless it's something really, really minuscule and tiny that's like, like it take me, you know, take us like a couple days to implement. And we really think it's going to be just 
we can't live without it. Um, we're pretty much going to stay where we're at. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't want the community's input because the community may say, um, Hey, you know what you can, um, we think we need to have this feature. And we say, well, you know what? It can't make it into Lord of Rigel because we want to get the game out to you guys. But hey, let's do that for an expansion pack. Let's do that for some downloadable content. Um, because we, we do plan on having probably, you know, one to two expansion packs for the game and probably a bunch of DLC for the game. Um, so, you know, ideas are always welcome. Suddenly became silence. What the sound of silence? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in ter yeah, in terms of like season pass, yeah, like it's it's too early. Like we're we're. Where we at this point are about as thought out as this is what we want to make the first game as, and I know there's ideas. Um, there's no, I know there's ideas that we'll want to do later, um, but yeah, we don't have everything laid out that far ahead yet. Yeah, I think the new galaxies look much better. The distribution of the stars are way better. Oh yeah, it yeah, it looks so much more randomized too mm -hmm. than before. So that's perfect. And hey, I got to use the cluster generator in the spiral galaxy, so that's cool. Yeah, see, now you feel really good. But I don't so. know why I didn't think of that earlier. Like, <laughs> here's a cluster. Just add arms to it, and we have a spiral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. It just kind of, yeah, it just kind of pisses me off that we're at 19 and not 20. It would just be so cool to hit 20, but, you know. To be honest, I expected, like, ma a maximum yeah, know, of 7 guys. viewers, to be honest. So, 19, Get, like, your amazing. great Aunt Maxine or something. Like, get someone. I don't care who. I don't care if it's, like, your great aunt that never uses the internet. Get <laughs> us to 20, man. Like, and also, the two. Uh, for like other ideas for like subsequent games, like one of the ideas that I had, I thought would be totally awesome, but it's not going to happen. This game is like right now we have like pre-designed species for you, and you'll have like a custom species that you can like choose uh, a portrait of the, one of the other species and like customize your stats. But, you know, one idea that I, I've had, and it'd be a lot of fun, but it's just not going to happen in this game. Is like, what about having it like kind of how in uh, Skyrim or any of those games where Wait. you can like customize the Wait. face, the body, and the clothes, and all that stuff. We're at twenty. So you can truly. I'm sorry. What? We're at twenty. We're at twenty. Oh, we are at twenty. Yes. Woo. Thank you, Grant, Great Aunt, whoever. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, like that was one of the ideas that I was thinking about doing was, uh, you know, we could do something like that for like a second game, but it's going to be just. It's a lot of work, and it's a system where it'd be cool to have, but it's not anything that I want to push the game out any further for release, you know? And then, uh, let's see here, if you have any questions. Yeah, back, yeah, as I was saying, yeah, at this point, like, what we're... What you're seeing for Galaxy Gen right now is just here are stars and objects in that galaxy. Um, system view, which you can't even tell in the stream. It, I don't think it's even noticeable. The effect is so is so subtle. But um, you'll have like stardust and you'll have a background. So as you move, it, lo it looks really sharp uh, when you're actually like playing it uh, versus just trying to watch it through hitbox.
Oh yeah, sorry, I was kind of, yeah, writing stuff. That's okay. I'm trying to eat, like, lunch slash dinner right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't think the internet needs to, like, hear me chewing constantly, so I think I'm going to, like, pause my uh, my Skype mic right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I was just talking so to I, I, um, our new guy, I guess. Yeah. I'll be doing yeah, let's see, he's got web stuff tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you want yeah, to he's got some web stuff dev done or no? What do you well, think? well, I want to hold off on that until like you've talked to him and kind of get your input. You know. Yep. Yeah, sure. Because you're you're our lead guy, so. Yep. You're, you you are the you are the lead programmer, so your input means a lot. Scary. So. That's what you get rev share for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So. You get to join the rest of us owners who get jack squat until the game's released. We'll pay everyone else <laughs> before we get paid. So, yeah, I know, right? We were at twenty. By the way, speaking of lameness of of twenty or being at nineteen instead of twenty, our Facebook page fifty nine likes, not sixty. Somebody on here needs to see on that Facebook page. Make us. Let's roll into 60 here, folks. Hatter will roll Justin Bieber. I'm not kidding. We'll do this. <laughs> yeah. We'll find Bieber or something. Something. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I can Bieber, though. I think it's like punishing me, too. Rebecca but we'll Black, find something. You know. Yeah, something. Um... No, we don't want fake people. We want people that are here that care. Look at that. 59. Lame. Yeah, it's cool, Mike. But yeah, I think the Nebula distribution is uh, pretty good. Like, there's not too many, but there's not too few either. I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Oh, yeah. I, I assume, yeah. I assume that, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's amazing how far behind I am now. It's, it's it's like it's getting worse with time. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think nebula distribution is very good. It looks random enough to me. Yeah. And yeah. uh, um, I think the four parsec rule is quite cool, or like good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it works out pretty nice. Uh oh. 
Ace on the patrol. Uh, no, it doesn't. But it shouldn't be hard to add because the my main, like when I do this stuff, the my main kind of work is a getting the JSON tables working nice with the code, and yeah, that's been a lot of work. And B, just you know, general getting into work, make it look nice. Yeah, some are smaller than others. Uh, you have like this red one over here, which is huge. Or like, I don't know what size it is, but you know, it's pretty big. Uh, I'll just leave it there for a couple of seconds for the stream to clear up. And I can go over here to this small one. And I still need to do the system flags for if they're inside the nebula. But yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. And it should be a problem to have in system view, right? Like to um, to have it actually show the nebula within system view. Like we can actually place the system view within within the same nebula. Yeah, that was what I, uh, what I was just talking oh. about. Flagging the systems okay. if they're inside the nebula. Oh, we, we were talking about flagging. I thought you were just referring to like oh, like all the attributes that come from the nebula, i.e., like ships are slower, shields don't work, stuff like that. Oh no, that I wasn't thinking for the about demo, system view itself. Oh yeah. And yeah, we, um, yes, we do have fighter classes, um, but you don't control them individually. So your ship you build would have fighter bays on it with fighters and you would launch them like a weapon. Um, and they'll be able to just intercept ships. Keep the questions rolling. Keep them rolling, Mercurial Mike. Oh, yeah, I think this dude is going to create nice websites. He, he just gave me a short version of what is done, I guess. That's cool. Yeah, he definitely seems pretty stoked to work on the team, so it'll be good. But obviously, you'll want to talk more tomorrow and yep. get things squared away. And the... And, like, of course, I don't want too many programmers, but if a... Like, I guess if we get a pretty, like, you know, skilled person on the team that knows his way around code, he can be really uh, useful. Well, my sentiment was, um, you know, first of all, web dev, because we need one, because we're losing Ken. Yeah. So you can fill that in, which is great. And then um, the other thing is, is that, you know, a lot of our other, like, kind of you and VU are the two main guys. The other guys are working on stuff here and there, but I think, like, as things progress, we're going to want people that can, you know, dedicate, like, more time, or we're going to need more people that dedicate less time. You're, you're trying to say, like, the volume of work is going to get worse, especially with the complexity of a lot of these systems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Vu's going to be pretty much screwed, because he's just going to be <laughs> stuck on... Uh... Well, because it, it's like, either he's screwed because he's working on AI, he's screwed because he's working on the GUI. Yeah. You're trying to say, like, like uh, he's not going to be able to, like, intervene in stuff like he is now. And... Um, so having someone with his, you know, he I know he said he's he knows C plus plus he just or not C plus plus C sharp, he just doesn't know Unity very well, but it's like, you know, if he can figure that out, he knows he's well versed in C sharp. I didn't know Unity fine. before we started with this either. So, yeah, and look at all the stuff that Tugs and I can do. So you're good to go. So, yeah, it should be fine. So. And you never know. More people, the better. Well, not always the better, but 
usually the better because it's the internet. People flake out. <laughs> oh, yeah. And <laughs> so I'm sure you know what we our team composition. Yeah. Oh yeah, go ahead. No, yeah. go ahead. You can finish first. Oh, I've been talking a ton. Go ahead. Go. Uh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking if we get like um, enough programmers, we could start. Uh, getting them into groups like you know you have one working on new features you have one polishing features you know because I found that polishing stuff is really the thing that takes up the most amount of time just look at the galaxy generator yeah absolutely oh and by the way yes 18 people now but 60 likes on Facebook so sweet Woo. I'll take it <laughs> got 60 likes um but yeah, and I mean the thing too is I mean, we, I mean I, you know, I don't want to have the team too big because obviously who knows how much Kickstarter is going to be oh, yeah. um, for payback. Oh, yeah. I, I want to make sure that you know everyone gets something out of this. I don't want people working for free and and stuff. So especially if there's money to be had, and it's going to be rough. Like this is our, this is our first. Um, oh, did oh, was it Amber? Your friend Amber that liked it. <laughs> There we go. I don't care. Just like it. Spread the word. Um, you know, so I don't want to, you know. Um, I don't, I don't want to, you know, it, it's a kind of, art, it's like my first foray into, into for profit. And it's really tough. Like, you know, just to give you guys perspective as like an indie game developer now, like, it's easy when you have money, and not in the sense that, like, um, you can, oh, I can just hire a million people and they all come work for me. Because it doesn't take a million people to make a game project. I mean, you look at games like um, Grand Theft Auto V, their budget was $100 million. I mean, you know, it doesn't take that much money to make a game. But where money can make things easy... And not having it can be very difficult is when you're trying to release a game like Lord of Rigel that's more than just a 2D shooter, um, that there is, um, you know, some sort of a, a scale, uh, you know, a grand scale game. And especially, you know, we've been really fortunate, to my surprise, with coders, because in my past experience, coders are the ones that are tough to come by. Artists are easy. Um, but we've found for us that um, coders have been. Uh, easier to come by than artists. Artists have been very difficult to come by. Um, and people that are um, good at art and are working at the caliber that we're looking for, you know, they need to be paid. And, I, and especially in the U.S., the economy has been very tough. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, people can't work on, on wishes. You know, they, they need to still pay for a roof over their head at the end of the day. So that's been really tough for us. Um, and so we're kind of shooting by the hip when it comes with um, uh, trying to get, um, hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> Mobile in. <what> <laughs> this guy is excited. I'm excited he's excited. <laughs> I keep reading Skype. I'm like, no, 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 can't do that. Um, <laughs> But, you know, it's it's tough because you know, we've had some great people work for us that have come and gone. Like, a lot of it, a lot, a lot of times it's just real stuff happens. Real life stuff happens. Like, we had a web developer. Um, he's a really talented guy. He actually works for, it's not Zillow, but there's a company like Zillow. It's like an online real estate um, website. You, like, you like look up, like, houses and prices and all that stuff. He does it as a professional. He, he offered his services for free to us just to help out the project in any way he could. Um, but he's got a wife, two kids, and their company is expanding. And so he's able to get our he's able to get our Rhombus Studio site going, but it's taken him like a month and a half, I think, to get our um, our Lord of Rigel site going. So hopefully something like next weekend we'll have part of it. We won't even have all of it together. Um, no, it's not truly. It's thing with an F. I want to say. I'll have to look it up here. I thought it was an A. Was it an A? Um, but yeah, like it's really, you know, it's been like difficult for him to finish that project uh, for us. What is it? Brivity. Brivity. Yeah. Brivity. Is it dot com? Brivity software. Brivity software. But yeah. 
Uh, that's who he works for, and um, it's been just really difficult. You, know, you have people that kind of come and go, like real stuff happens, or we have some people that started working for us, and then they're like, oh, like, you know, now this other thing's come up. I, I, can, I can help you with part of it, but I can't finish it with you. So, you know, money usually is the thing that keeps people around, you know. <laughs> Magic in the game. <laughs> the galaxy Sorcery, generator yes, is pure see. magic. It is. Yeah. Hmm, there was something I wanted to do, but I've forgotten. Oh yeah. yeah, by the way, I'm, when we're done, I'm going to save this whole live stream as a clip on Hitbox. Perfect, okay. So yeah, seeing that it's only like one long live stream instead of like 10 different uh, segments <laughs> I've had before. Yeah, it's only four hours and 40 minutes of live streaming. It's yeah. nothing, you know, broken up. <laughs> oh yeah, this has gone on longer than I thought it would, but this has been great. I love it. Come to think about when we started, like when the countdown timer finished, like forty-five seconds before the timer were finished, we were still talking about, you know, I was still fixing bugs in the project, basically. Yep. Yeah, four fifty-one. I've been on with you for. Yeah, I mean, it's been a while. I mean, it's been, yeah, like, it's been fun, though I really enjoy it, and the fact that it's gone for longer than this tells me that there is interest in the game, and we're doing something good here, so it's good to see people are still watching, and we got people kind of rolling in and out, in and out, which is awesome. By the way, Newman, do we have textures I can show off on your battleship? Do you have something we can show off? I, said, I showed everyone the P3D of the model, but do we have a... Some nice, like, halfway done textures. Oh, yeah. That's, like, one of the best races ever. Like, they they, they, they defy how I like to play, like, like, the type of species I like to play. But, yeah, we have a species, the Tharn. Imagine, like, leaders, or imagine a species that, like, is reptilian, like the Gorn. And their whole thing is they just eat people to survive. So when you when you invade worlds, you don't assimilate the population. You eat them, but you get a huge population boost because they count as farming. And so, yeah, it's totally awesome. I, I, I'm really looking forward to later on being able to actually sit down and play them because... It should be a very different play style than what I'm used to uh, for most other species. And one thing we talked about too, and I think it's going to be an expansion pack, is like we also want to have species that don't even rely on um, that. Oh, hey, Tuxie, that's 62 likes. It keeps growing, hey. man. Hey. Hey, we are getting there. Yeah, juggernaut, internet, internet, Facebook juggernaut. Oh yeah, my. Whoa, 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 whoa! Caden Burleson likes us, and apparently, he's a 3D modeler, texture artist, rigger. Hey, this is what we need. If you were on this chat right now, talk to me, because we need someone just like you to make cool stuff. So. Oh, yeah, I see that. That's cool. Yeah, he's got in this thing, and, oh, man, if he, yeah, I hope he's on this stream. If he you is. Can, oh, he, he is. is on here. If you have free time and you want to do something cool with, like, I don't know, spaceships or modeling people, whatever, you have any time, talk to us, because we definitely need someone of your talents. It would be totally awesome. 
So, um, I'm available on Skype um, as Acurus and Adam Rohrbaugh there. Um, I believe his Skype name is the same. It's just got a uh, space. Is, is, or is it just Adam? I'm pretty sure it's Adam M. You'll look, lo, let me load it up here. But I'll look at his profile. But yeah, like it's, I think it's just Adam N or Adam Rohrbaugh. But yeah. It's Adam.Rohrbaugh75. But yeah. If you have time, come talk to us. That would be totally awesome. And thank you for the Facebook like. It helps. Oh, by the way, Acuris, we're up at 700 megabytes on the build now. Are we really? Yeah. Wow. But when we zip it down, it becomes like 100 megabytes. So it's cool. people have any ability to help us out we'd love it can't offer you a million bucks yet but you know we will we'll really try to make things right with people i was talking with um a potential new team member who we met today in the chat uh Morvalin, and you know we're talking about kind of how we how our structure is um and so um with us in our company obviously we don't make money yet. we don't have a product that makes money but we will be having a Kickstarter in late November, um, early December. And, you know, people that are leads, so like Tuxinet, myself, uh, Adam on here, you know, we're not going to take a single penny from that. Everything is going to go to paying team members what we can pay them based on the Kickstarter and paying for any future work that we need to have done to see the game through to completion. Um, so Tuxinet's taking a big risk with his time um, in terms of donating it because the game could never come to fruition, and he'll it's just a big kind of big waste for him. Mm. Um, so you know it's really important to us that we just get the the game out there, um, and so you know we're going to do everything we can to make sure it's out there because I really think this is going to be a great game, and a lot of people are just going to love it. And hopefully we can get a franchise um, started with it. Oh, are you going to scale it down for the stream? Yeah, I'm just trying yeah, I'm just... the settings. You know, the other thing, too, is I really think with the graphics, I don't think it's even really necessary. In the end. I think it's only the, that we'll need in the end is, like, brightness, resolution, and, like, FSAA if you want it on or off. Yeah, like, I know yeah. many people, like, are complaining about, oh, there's not enough graphics in the game, right? But, like, mm -hmm. I don't think it's necessary. At least not this game. No, exactly. Like, like, in this game, like, it runs so good on everything. Because everything so far has been 60 frames. It should even run on, like, Intel integrated. Mm -hmm. um, there's just no reason for it. It's just, I guess, changing the settings to change settings. But everyone should be able to run the game and max out. Oh, yeah, Tyson, show them the epicness of, or, of rotation. Yep. Yeah. I'll come back to that. I'll just change the resolution up again. Oh. Rule 34, though. Pah what is that? I'm going to look this up myself. Oh, yeah. That's another form of advertising. <laughs> Going to other people's streams. <laughs> Woo Legends did that on Notch. Didn't work, but he did it. <laughs> yeah, Voo's quite a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do his poor. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... Doing some orbit and flare stuff now. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's still not quite right on Gas Worlds. Yeah. Uh, or not Gas Worlds. Um, like planets have like uh, they're rocky with like atmospheres. And did now is VU Legends? He's he's doing the the text alignment right for the. For the in galaxy, oh, that's something we should check out too. Is make sure plants are spaced out far enough so that they. Oh, you see what I'm saying there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It just treats it like a. To- it's like a oh, separate object. We're done. <laughs> cut off. Cut off the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> the thing we need to look at too is like when you zoom in, like the text on it isn't like getting cut off because we do have some very long system names. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's Voo Legends territory, I guess. So. Cool. <laughs> yeah, they can collide, I guess. And um, we saw a shader bug, I guess. Where like, I'll showcase it again. If you have a planet with a atmosphere. Oh, actually, this is a bad system. Uh, I don't know if you're seeing that, but the atmosphere is like getting cut off when eclipse or like goes in. Yeah, it's pretty visible here. See about there, the atmosphere gets cut off. Like it's purely aesthetical stuff, but yeah, it's all fit and finished stuff. Oh yeah, Ace, how many gas giants have you got now? Last time, like, I am currently having, I have five of them in the generator. I guess I'll go check. Do we have the randomizer set up for that too? Where it's going to... No, um, actually no, I haven't done that. That'd be something, that'd be something good to work on too. Mm-hmm. It is late here. It's like one in the morning in Norway. Jeez. Two. Two. Two? Yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to go in not too long. But actually, uh, if if you want to, I could leave the stream open. But, you know, I guess... No, I'm... it's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think nearly five hours of streaming is sufficient for what was supposed to be a three-hour stream. Yeah. I don't think we've screwed anybody. <laughs> 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 see you later Mike good to see you man yeah see ya yeah. nice to have you here nice. oh yeah I see that like three or four persons has followed me on on um, Hitbox that's cool I'd love to <laughs> awesome. shout you out but I can't find your names anywhere that kind of sucks <laughs> oh wait actually I can check it in a second Ooh, Ace, that's an awesome gas giant. Number, is that number six? Ooh, have we got more? Oh. I'll try to find the new followers. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at my my streaming stats and like usually i have like three to four viewers and today we've had like 20 concurrent viewers yeah and i really think it's actually been more than that because um we've had some come and some go you know so i yeah. think it, yeah. it's been more than just 20 you know we probably had more like 25 to 30 which is great mm -hmm. oh i think i found my followers okay caden has actually followed me Thank you. Great. Uh, a Fool's Duty. Thank you. Laricon. Thank you. And a couple of friends of mine. That's awesome. Morvalin has followed and me. And if you guys... Yeah. Oh, if you guys are liking the stream, also uh, 
VU Legend? Is it, is it is it Legend or Legends on here? Uh, if you like, if you um see underneath the stream window, you see like a tab called Rhombus Studios. Um, there you can find VU Legend. He also does uh like three or four streams a week. He's working really hard on this project. So that's cool. Yeah. So if if you if you're liking this, go ahead and follow him as well. Because it's the same good stuff. Oh, yeah. And he right now is working very hard on our GUI system. Really um, hard. And, <laughs> yeah. And he <laughs> is quite a colorful guy. You'll love him. He's definitely a very entertaining guy to be on stream with. So you guys will love him. I didn't know the chances are if you go in a stream, you'll, you know, maybe you'll meet me or Akiris. Yeah, usually we're on there with him on Skype, so. Also, I think I want to, yeah, we are up to 63 likes on Facebook, so thank you, everyone. Much appreciated. Yeah, I think this yeah. was a good plan. I really like it. People seem to be happy too, so it's not, so they're enjoying it. Oh yeah, Meowbot is working. I need to fix that, I guess. What's Meowbot? It's a bot on Hitbox. I think MXM cubed. Um, uh, like he wanted me to add it, and then I did it, but now it's not working. Uh, oh well. Okay. Uh Okay, I think it's just like Okay. Um There's me about <laughs> Yeah. Maybe it's offline at the moment or something. I just That's cool. Yeah, I'll do the gas giant stuff now, I guess. You sure, man? If you want to call it a night, no one's going to blame you. It's like two year time. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll, I'll do the last gas giants and uh, cap the amount of gas giants, and then I'll go to bed. If it takes too long, I'll just go to bed Perfect. either way. So. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, I think next time we do this stream too, Tuxina, I think we should do is just come up with like a list of stuff that we want to work on that day. Oh, yeah. Now, Grant, yeah, like, I mean, I'm sure you won't get through it all. It's programming. It never goes as planned. But <laughs> at least then, like, if things go faster than planned, we have a list. You know, trying to say, like, you know, we'll know more kind of what we want to do that day. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we'll try to get this more formalized for you guys too and try to make this almost like a some sort of like a um I want to say like a show but I don't know like have like different segments like on radio you have shows and they have like different segments where people talk about you know different aspects you know at different times and so I think that's something that maybe we'll try to do and try to make it a little more formalized um still fun but just a little more organized for you guys like this is the first time we actually doing like a proper dev stream I guess like a session so, you know, we'll, I, I I guess we'll just get better over time. Yeah, absolutely. But I think it's gone great, and you guys have been awesome. I really appreciate it. Just so many viewers, a ton of likes on Facebook. Um, yeah, it's just great. Like I want, I'm trying to look at where we were this morning, but I don't think we quite had 50 this morning. And so, oh, is it 52? Okay. So just in like a few hours, you've got to get 11 more likes, which is awesome considering how small this little project is, you know, it's just so awesome because this is, 
we haven't been, even been running for a week yet. And I want to say Tuxedo's viewership usually is what, like four to five, yeah. maybe six or seven tops for view, like a, like a concurrent viewership. And today we're at seventeen. We've capped out at twenty. Um, and and considering we've kept a really good steady stream for five plus hours, which I think is also <laughs> the longest stream we've ever done, even yep. for just internally. Uh, just working on the project and going over stuff together, like this is just fantastic. Holy smokes! Yeah, here you see my yeah. streaming stats. <laughs> yeah, and this and is that's all viewers, because of you guys. So. Yeah, it's it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. It just it means a lot, and um, you know, if you can just spread the word out there, you know. It's that way when it comes time for a Kickstarter project, you know, people know who we are, what we're about and what they're contributing to. Um, you know, we're going to try to release the best product we can for you and um, try to get to you in a very timely fashion. You know, as talked about earlier, that's why we're trying to feature lock everything and we're going to offer it on as many platforms as we can. So this game will be made for uh, Windows, OS X and Linux initially. Um, but I know, as people mentioned, you about iOS or Android or no, no one should Windows Phone, but I will mention Windows Phone. It needs an honorable mention because I use it myself. Um, but you know, that's something that would be great for us. To, you know, if you, if you the community are interested in a in a product like that, that we can you know take Lord of Rigel, scale it down a little bit, and make it work on a tablet down the road once Lord of Rigel is released, that would be great. And we would love to do it and uh, right. to provide, an, an, you know, another platform to play the game on. So, yeah, it would be yeah. cool to get it on App Store or something, but like the... I got to agree on you. The current form the game has, it doesn't really fit on mobile devices. Yeah, I mean, I I think I think it could it could work if we scale things down into like a tiny small, yeah, a tiny or a small galaxy, like no more than let's say 48 stars or something like that. <clears throat> I think that'd be doable on some, on something like an iPad Air. You could do. It. You could not play this game on a on a phone. Nope. Uh, you might be able to try, but I think it'd be a miserable experience. A lot of zooming, and zooming in and zooming out constantly. Um. But I think on a tablet, you know, it would be a doable thing. But we'd have to scale down some of the mechanics. You know. Yeah, definitely <laughs> under sixty four. You know. Oh, by the way, I want to shout out Romanov and Urzel. Thank you for the follow, guys. Oh, excellent. Yeah, you, those are new people, too. So, yeah, thank you. Because you're back to 18 now. So, I don't know if you guys are on earlier, if you're just catching us here. I think we're pretty much near the end. Yeah, I know Texan looks, looks like he's calling. He's got his big T up and his <laughs> desktop. So. Yeah, the big um, T. But, yeah, like, I don't know. Texan, do you plan on streaming tomorrow at all? I mean, not something as formal as this, but just doing any work. I know it's late in your time. Uh, I will try to do that. I am going away, like, at noon for a couple of hours. But I, I may do a couple of hours of streaming after that when I get home. Okay. So there may be some streaming tomorrow. I know VU Legends, I don't think he said he's back from his trip till Wednesday, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, so it may not be something you may not we may, may not be on here consistently till later in the week. I know probably Tyson usually is on here, maybe once every other day streaming, um, but it's kind of erratic, you know, because it's people's free time. But um, we will definitely, at the minimum, two weeks from now, we will be doing another one of these, I think, and we'll have something a little more organized um, for you guys, and we'll. Oh, Eckers. Try to oh. work on making sure everything's set up and. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh, what's the matter? Oh, never mind. You just dropped out for oh. a couple of seconds, but. Um, oh, did I? Yeah, but you didn't lose any. Yeah, you didn't cut out or anything. Just. Stop. Okay. But yeah, just go on, I guess. Apparently, Skype's getting tired too. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, you know, we'll 
two weeks, we'll try to have something really set up for you guys with some more information. Oh, okay. um, Next two uh, our forum, our Facebook page, our Twitter, they are all up. If you have questions that you'd like to have answered next time direct from us, send them to us, have them ready. Um, we can spend some time maybe, go, maybe going over some questions as Tuxinet's trying to troubleshoot stuff. It's always a good time for us to kind of uh, talk and go over stuff. And should be really good. I look forward to seeing you guys in a couple weeks and um, seeing you guys just on our Facebook and on our, on our uh, website. So thank you so much. And with that, I guess it's a good time to end the stream. So, um, yeah, thank you all for, you know, coming here and actually staying. That's quite surprising. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, bye everyone.